Welcome, fellow vault dwellers, the Brotherhood of Shell. Welcome, we are live on the power trip with the commando build to dominate Appalachia. So I hope you are armed with a nice mic of tea, maybe some popcorn. Yeah, I don't have a popcorn here, but I have tea. And we are heading in there, into the wasteland. But first, let me say hi to people in the chat. Welcome, Lock of Cobra, Mr. Nimbus, Cheum, I think that's what it says. Wicked Monkeys, DS, WR85, Joe Garufalo, Bioni, Justin Terrence, Garame, Galidorn Second, RHPS, 4711, RJ Martin, Pots Thousand, Chris Zimmerman, Spiteful Angel, Mark, Maggie Brew, Nomis, Snowbat, Suika, Bill Sven, Numba, Mr. Kill Jr., Wolfric, Carnabay, Jonathan, Rackins, Joe Murray, Aaron Sheridan, Inkslinger, Dr. Atomic, and JSG. Welcome! I hope you'll enjoy your time here. We are relaxing, we are grinding, we are slaying the bosses, we are doing the mutated events today. This is a mutated event week. So let's head to Fallout 76. Here we go. Let me open a preview with the chat on my phone as I forgot. Here we go. Good evening, everyone. We are live. We are live to conquer. We are here to show the power. I like it in games. I like it in video games sometimes. Just go on the pure power trip. Not forever. Just after, after a while, you can get bored, even being a Superman. But for a moment, and returning to it, it's really cool when you know you can evaporate everything before they even notice you. What's free? Supply package, I take that. Adventure. Here we go. What do you drink your tea with? I have a little bit of honey with my tea. Hello everyone else who's joining us right now. Nice to see you in here. Welcome, welcome. Enjoy your time in Appalachia. Loading in. Where am I? Oh, there's line in the sand. If I hurry up and my game loads, I should be able to join line in the sand. To get my mutated package. Oh, PJ Bear, how did you lose the internet access? And even more mysterious thing. How are you texting in the chat without inter internet access? Internet. I don't know why I said that this way. <laughs> how can you text without having internet access? Oh, the resilient ones today. For that special occasion, I always carry it with, with me. Red Apple. But they are resilient enemies. I'm ready for them. Hello there, resilient Scorch. So bad they do not allow us to sprint with Auto Axe anymore. It was nice when it lasted. I don't know what's the reason for that. Why is it so bad? <laughs> what forced Bethesda to remove the sprinting from auto attacks? It was cool. And even worse part, they somehow managed to break pain train. So pain train is pretty useless now.
Hello there, medics. Jory, yes, you did catch me live. Good job. Oh, PJ Bay, you're on your phone and your PlayStation 4 do not have internet access. So we need to figure out how to share it from your phone. Must be the way. Must be the way to hook it, to hook your phone somehow into like a router or something. You don't need too much internet to play follow. Where are you scorched? I'm trying to find you. No one to be found. Oh, I have one. There we go. Is that it? Did we won? That's the last wave. Oh, there's one more legendary resilient scourge we I don't know if I would be able to fly in there to hit her with auto axe. Oh, Mr. Kill Jr. with special message is saying you are approaching 100k. Are you going to put on a turtle suit once you get the play button? Maybe. I don't know yet. You mean, and by that I think you meant to say. Am I going to take off my human suit? That's probably what you were going to say, I assume. You have to fly higher. How can we get her? If I pop some slice of a cake and attempt to fly over no oh, I'm falling down it was so close I got here yay space turtle for the win Space turtle action. Do I need any of this loot? Who knows? I will take it. Oh, if you actually live in Appalachia, you are lucky. I do not. I live in the United Kingdom. Which soon should get a followed episode thanks to mothers. The followed London is coming. Okay, let's get rid of all this stuff that I looted. Yeah, I think with the followed show coming, I have good chance of actually hitting 100k subscribers. I would love to have this play button, so we'll see. Time will tell. That would be something to show for my YouTube endeavor. So yeah, I, I do want a silver button from YouTube if I can get it. Uh, 
Sell everything. Oh, radium I will scrap. So I'm pretty sure I still need to unlock one more mod. Here now, aid. Uh, some right away. Steam packs. I'm only. I only need supers. Okay, good. We good. What's that? Spoiled stuff. No, I don't need it. Why am I still over in Cambert? I sold everything, didn't I? I think I did. Oh, now. Finally inside the weight limit. What's heavy? Spikes are heavy, but I need them. Wait, ultraside plasma cartridges are so heavy? I will reduce the count. Okay. Plasma cartridges are really heavy without uh, energy ammo weight reduction. Okay. That's sorted. For full power I have railway and enclave plasma. I still need to figure out which one is more powerful overall. For boss fights, I have a plan to do that. Should you get followed first? That's a question in the chat. That depends. How much does it cost you? Is it expensive for you? Because that depend, mainly depends on your income and where you live in the world. For me, it's definitely worth it. I'm using Fallout first all the time. I cannot imagine playing without it. But it's a price and cost issue, mainly. If you can easily afford it, I would say yes, absolutely worth it. Best way to contact me if you want to send or tell me something in private, it's private message on X or Discord. That's the way. I cannot guarantee that I will always answer, but I usually do. Yeah, I usually do. What do I need to do? Alcoholic beverage. Ferment alcoholic beverage. Glowing creature. Mutated enemy. Scrap junk to be this glass. I don't want to build anything. I said I don't want to build anything. Okay. They're still building stuff. No, that's gold star. Okay, there's no building stuff. How did I saw a building stuff here? It's a daily challenge. Oh, there is a build stuff. Okay, I switched from daily to weekly. There is a build stuff. Ah, I wanted to avoid building. Claim a workshop. I don't like those. <laughs> okay. We need to figure out something about it. There is uplink. We can do the lazy daily op. Always when there is uplink, I call it a lazy daily op. Have I done anything on my mules? Not much. I mean, in the past I was playing on them a lot. Now they are just mules rarely being used. Don't even know what is where. Am I tanky enough for that? I probably need power armor to be honest to tank damage, but it's okay. Taking those, damn it, just like a champ. Oh, come on, get out of my way. 
trying to capture the uplink. Railway, maybe? Railway is a hard hitter. Look what it does to them. Absolute annihilation. Although the ammo is crazy heavy, so maybe back to the fixer. And even when I'm not able to sneak, look at my damage. Still crazy high whenever crit happens. Crits to the head are still crazy high damage. Why is my bonus survival not working? I feel like it's trigger triggering after I take a Stimpax manually. Should, why am I jumping? I'm trying to just press a crit button. Maybe I should just hold the jump button all the time. One thing that annoys me in follow, there is no way, absolutely no way to reassign your crit button to something else than a jump button. You must have the jump button to be the same as crit button. So the only way to really use it effectively is holding the jump button Releasing and pressing jump button when you want to jump at all other time. Just keep it down Alternatively, I would love an option to have crits out to activate whenever charged That would be really good. I don't know why it's not an option to be honest Why we don't have an option to have crits out to activate it so I would not need to press a button Is jumping by releasing and repressing the button is <laughs> really awkward. You can do it if you have spacebar pressed down by default. Or maybe there would be a way to like reverse the state of the spacebar to like some kind of a program setting. So by default, spacebar will be considered press and. When I press it, then it will be com considered unpressed. Is it possible? I don't know. That. I know that's probably a very minor issue to talk about, but it is an annoying issue for the critical in VATS. Now I have my spacebar constantly pressed, and I'm only releasing and pressing it again when I want to jump. So that's how it looks like when I want to jump. I just let it go and press it again. That's how I jump. Let go, press again. Maybe you could get used to this operation. This way I always have crits. So that's the way I figure it out. Let's do it on reverse. Keep a spacebar pressed all the time. And press again when you want to jump. And stay pressed. Never let it go. But it's not as comfortable. So you need to keep actively keeping the finger down. You thumb down on the spacebar at all times. <laughs> should be insane turtle. I'm just angry turtle. A little bit insane. Not much. Come on, who's there? Who's shooting me with a missile launcher? That's you. Goodbye, you. 
I think I'm holding quite well as a commando build here. It's definitely not a squishy build. Not a super tank kind of build, but not a squishy one. Oh, we done. Good job, team. Well, that was instigating fixer. Crazy high power is for just instigating fixer. What do we got? 35 legendary script, that's not bad. And two free stars. That's nice. What keyboard do I have? I have Steel Series. I think it's Apex Pro. The best one possible. After my last one from Razer, Razer died, I replaced with the best possible keyboard. So Steel Series Apex Pro. Not the most expensive, there are more expensive keyboards. Definitely that cheap one, but the best one. So no compromises, the best keyboard. And no, it's not sponsored, I just honestly think it is the best keyboard. Oh, uh, let me check if I will... Oh, there is an event! Let's see if I will get lucky to get very rare drop of Enclave Plasma mods. Yeah, I'm absolutely the Brotherhood. The Brotherhood of Shell. That's the Brotherhood we have in here. The Brotherhood of Shell. There was no Brotherhood of Shell poster, so we have Brotherhood of Steel poster. I will figure out one day the Brotherhood of Shell poster. I'm thinking about it. it must, there must be a way to get someone to make Brotherhood of Shell poster. Oh, this event is almost done. I remember back in days when there was no honey producer for your camp. That was perfect place to gather lots of honey. Oh, this honeybee was tanky. Tanky enemies, railway. Oh, that's already over. Okay, there is no Enclave mod. Vendors, then. Yeah, I can show you my build, but I have a whole video about it if you need details. It's my latest commando build. Uh, that's the one I just reset the temporary switch in through Hiker as I was running in power armor. This shouldn't be here. Let me switch it back to how it's supposed to be. Yeah, that's how it's supposed to be. That is the build. No Enclave Moods. Uh, I'm not using Steel Series mouse. I'm using Razer mouse. That's the one that feels the best for me. So I'm not changing. That's my mouse. I don't know. Can you see it? That's my mouse. Razer, Basilisk, and version three now. I know the Razer is making new versions currently on version three of Razer Basilisk. Wi wired, not wireless. Wired. I prefer wired mouse. 
again, not sponsored, but if they would like to sponsor me and give me free stuff, uh, I would welcome that. Just the one that feels the best for me so far. That's the main reason I'm using it. I don't yet know if this is the most durable one, as I only have it for a year. So, relatively new. But feels the best for my large hands. Yeah, my hands are large, so I cannot have tiny mouse, as then I'm struggling to operate it. I had before from Logitech, I'm not using Logitech mouse, but I had a headphones from Logitech. I wasn't very happy as they died after less than two years. No Enclave, okay, so I don't have very good luck with Enclave mods. Let's do an expedition before I forget. Oh, that's called purchase a very expensive Logitech mouse and you are happy with it. Good to hear. Do you think it's gonna last? How long do you have it? Uh, the technique of server hopping to end up on different server is through the friend list. I cannot use it as my friend list is broken, unfortunately, but that's the technique. So you add random friends from around the world, preferably from different regions than you live in, and then you just join them. This way you will be joining a lot of random servers. That's the way I was doing that before. Just randomly joining for people on people from friendless. Cannot do that anymore, unfortunately. Disappointing, but it is how it is. Come on, camera. Let me capture that. That's why stealth is superior. You don't need to fight all those enemies. You just stick to launch fireworks. And in first person perspective, I can go into sneaky mode while sprinting. For some reason, in third person, I cannot. I don't know why. You need to stop running. Oh, it was detected. One crap is trying to scratch my back. Why is everyone calling me? Did I miss him poster or something? I will check, but I will launch the fireworks first. After I launch them, it will be saved. Like the progress will be saved that I already did that. Oh, there is nuking coming. How much time for the nuke? Oh, come on. Don't try to kill me, bad competitors. This is a really weird mission to do those emoji, but there it is. Okay, where's the nuke? Uh, let me go there. I will fast travel out. I can always continue expedition.
I already did the Starfield stream to check out the patch on Twitch. It was on Friday. I already did that. It was short one. You can still find it on Twitch. I'm pretty sure Twitch holds archives for like a month, month or three months, something like that. I'm not absolutely sure. Pixel for accuracy. Just a time for this nuke. Put and drink. The tea. Light sip. Cheese. Tater cheese. Okay, Queen, come over. I'm ready. Seven triple hell wing. Yes, most sen sensational game is very playable alone quite easy alone here we go annihilation look at this damage oh. why are you so close to me don't sit on me scroll this screen keep your distance Damage is crazy, like it's 1k almost with a crit. Everyone dead? Everyone's dead. The dragon. I don't know why I would need it, but it's natural drop of the dragon. In good condition too. Why did they nerf the wrench? I will never have a clue. I really like the dragon. So bad that they did nerf it and only legacy one keeps 400. Yeah, there's really nothing I can do with it, unfortunately. Okay, resume. Press T to resume. Yeah, the scout armor no mask no longer count as part of scout armor set, which is unfortunate. Okay, so emoji do not save. So I wasted time doing the emoji part. Only save if you do them all. I will know that now. Excuse me, flying by. I have Enclave Tent. That was from, I think, previous scoreboard or scoreboard before that? It was from the scoreboard. I'll take the teddy. Should I take the teddy? Wait, teddy is upstairs. Oh, you got it. Okay. Good. I'm not taking Teddy very often, so I made a mistake. 
Oh, look at this. Railway annihilation. This is just beautiful. The railway annihilation here is just beautiful. No need to seek. Just pure critical power of the critical damage. Uh, Dragon is not a better version of double barrel shotgun because it fires only once. So that's big downside comparing to double barrel shotgun. And double barrel shotgun is not great by itself, but it is great if you have cold shoulder. Claim it. Two spikes will kill absolutely any enemy here. Usually probably just one spike, but I'm firing two. For a good measure. Got you. Okay. Hello there, Quinzel. Quinzel is saying hi. It's a special message. Hi, Quinzel. Dragon can't be quad. If Dragon could be quad, it would make a huge difference. Oh, I leveled up. Legendaries on my railway. Uh, quad, crit damage, faster crit charge. The faster crit charge part is not very useful, but crit damage is. Look what's gonna happen in here. Oh, I forgot it will not auto switch as they do not actually die. Yeah, those are two final bosses with the railway. No reloads needed. <laughs> they both go down with those 20 spikes. I think 30 spikes was enough. So but they don't fully die, so I cannot have a gun for switch. I need to drop VATS and retarget. Price expedition for today complete. Yeah, that's high. High damage weapon. A real heavy hitter. The bosses basically get a heart attack when they see you. And it's relatively cheap in VATS. It used to be basically free in VATS, but they fixed that. That was even more insane when, when a railway was free in VATS. Okay, nothing good from the legendary drops, but I do have my stamps and modules. No caster does more, but how much slower does it fire? The best weapon for melee combat is Auto Axe. Yeah, Saltor Head will show the highest damage numbers, but it will not do this damage. So that's the main issue with... 
with a soldier or head weapon. It shows really nice damage, it doesn't do those. That's the main issue. So that's the enclave tent. And the latest tent from the recent scoreboard is over there. That's the one, the latest one. A wall. What armor do I use? It's a combo. Four pieces of covert scout unyielding and one piece of secret service unyielding. Covert scout is only one star though, as I was going on a budget with it. I forgot, you don't need to talk with him, just press the button. Turn that inhibitor. Oh, that killed you. Oh, they do die from one shot, so I can't even... I can't even remind in stealth. <laughs> Railway. They're too far away to do anything. When I'm firing at them with such a... Oh, I, I lost my sneak bonus as there is someone else in area. See, that's the difference. With a sneak bonus, they die on one, but if there are other people involved in combat, you will lose the sneak bonus. There's still a sentry bot. Shook one. Just wake up the sentry bot. Look at the, this angry sentry bot. Come over here. They don't die, so I just destroy the combat inhibitors. If you don't know what that do, like you can see robots fighting each other. That what happens when you destroy combat inhibitor without killing the robot. It used to spawn legendary enemies. It does not anymore, which is disappointing. I don't know why Bethesda remove this one legendary enemy spawning in here when they know there is like 20 legendary enemies spawning at foundation event okay combat armor pieces no enclave mod and over encumbered i looted too much Will scrap kit fix that or do I need more effort? It will. Awesome. Free range. We can escort some Brahmins. Yes, I can show you my cards again. And my weapons. I will have time now. I will just start this event. And I will show you. Need to equip that to start the event. So, my rifle. That's my railway. Optimal would be with faster reload or less AP cost. I don't have it. I would prefer faster reload here. I have faster charge, so that's a railway for full health build. And I'm not a full health build, so I don't need this kind of a railway. But that's what I have. Those are my, my perks. Full damage. I didn't even have the opportunity to activate Revenant for extra boost. Well, yeah, that's the damage part. I could switch good with salt out for a bloody mess, but I have too many birthday slice cakes to do so. 
For herding Brahmins, it's important to herd the first Brahmin first and last Brahmin last. Otherwise, they just get stuck and you don't really accelerate any progress. What else? My armor, as I said, mix. One scout, one star scout covered. And torso. I need a better torso, by the way. I need some kind of poison and fire resistance. But I do not have. Come on, let me have this Brahmin. Samson. Bourbon. Where is the third one? Where is the last Brahmin? Oh, there. Duke. Samson, Bourbon, and Duke. All three Brahmins. Where you gonna go? Samson? Duke? Go, go, go! For events I have this Tesla. So I don't need to aim, I can just fire at will. Like that and hit everything around. I don't have Grenadier equipped. I usually count on it that someone will be sharing it. Oh, I'm not sharing anything myself. Bad me. I should be sharing something. I will share radical. Wait. There is a second ship squatch? Oh, there was a second ship squatch, so we had two ship squatches. I don't need ship squatch meat anymore. Since the changes implemented to melee buffs, ship squatch meat is no longer needed. Distant Thunder. Oh, over encumbered. Need my tent. I'm trying to do those events to see if I will get lucky to get any Enclave mod. So far, I am not lucky. Why not Secret Service full set of Brotherhood Recon? Because this, the scout, covert scout is the best for stealth. And I want to have best for stealth. You could, like you could play with anything else. I'm not saying no. This is just best. Can I put tent here? No. Oh, I can. So I have my own sniping position. Okay, I'm ready. Someone on the flag, someone on the tent, me on my own tent. We have the... Oh, caravan is just passing through. I didn't know the caravan can be passing through the event. Did the event end that? Oh, we're late? 
No one fixed. <laughs> no one fixed the launcher. Oh no. <laughs> Face bomb. We're not on time. Oh come on. How could we be late? We've been late. So I lost on the event. Let me drop a nuke. Not knows. Holotape missile. State holotape. Where is my messiah holotape? There. Ready to land. Bravo. The only one that's ready to land. Bravo. Oh, someone is already there. So maybe I don't need to go there. Is the imposter ready? Yes, Elder Marks. Elder Marks is really good. It's absolutely valuable. It's better than a fixer on boss fights. So, yeah. Oh, it's working. Here we go. Oh, come on, I'm trying to sit on this light. Fine. Recalled robot approaches. I switch to my instigating fixer. This one is with extra VATS accuracy. That's how I'm hitting them so easily. sniping in rats from in here this is the lazy mode the full power unleashed i mean lazy mode it's not full lazy build the build requires some effort but then playing with this build is super easy okay activate violence where's the imposter there done where's the body where's the body of the imposter that's blue off still don't see it where is it okay i have better idea i will access the body of the ghoul and hopefully okay the imposter is not in range where is the body of the imposter? Hello. How can I loot it? Where did it go? Oh, there is three star. Oh, there is the body of the imposter. How, how did the imposter end up in here? We, we killed it over there. And it's here. All right, no questions. Oh, over in Cambridge. Scrap kit. Scorch Earth again.
Oh, Insel bot, bot is a very really cool NPC, yeah. Insult bot can properly insult you. There's the queen. I think I missed. Oh, nuke zone. No. Where's the queen? Stop. Come on, Quinn. Oh, come on. Okay, I will be patient. I will just wait for her. She will return. Like, Scorch is Quinn as a boss. She would die so quickly if not the fact that she can fly. Look at the damage we are all doing to her. The railway is doing insane amount of damage. We got it. by stack weight it's in the heaviest that's not too bad I still have too much stuff I'm pretty sure I pick up some power armor piece and not that do I have right leg left leg left arm oh, I have a lot of power armor pieces but not right leg okay, maybe the low stars I will just skip Yeah, previously I did set Elder's Mark is better than a fixer for boss fights. I did a full test previously on my channel. It's available and it's still up to date. Elder's Mark is better for bosses. Okay, that's where the weight was. It's fixed now. No, it's, that can be extra weight. Yeah, I unlocked a lot of plants that weights me down. Plasma gun, not enclave plasma gun, not enclave plasma gun. Yeah, there is no plans for enclave plasma gun. Radioactive barrel, I'm giving it for free. All those plants for free. Yeah, 
Yeah, that was like over 10 pounds of plants. This is nice. Anyone need those? They, they're here. At train station. Mutated event. Oh, AFK mutated event. <laughs> cool. Yeah, I don't know why someone dropped it <laughs> outside of the donation box, but hey, their choice. Now we need to wait for rewards in here. The best part about this event, you do not need to go inside. Like no reason to get inside. This is another weapon of incredible power that I will be using probably in a moment. Although I think Bloodied would currently do better. Bloodied or Executioners, that's what I'm thinking about. But this is a perfect anti-armor roll. It's perfect. It cannot get any better. It's, it's perfect as is. I mean, faster fire rate in theory is better DPS, but I personally prefer critical damage. Not because of ammo usage, but if server is very laggy, it's better if weapon is firing a little bit slower. For most weapons, attachment determine AP usage. Enclave recently, yeah, I need to update my guide for Enclave Rifle again, as Bethesda did that. If you want Flamer, so in my case, align Flamer Barrel. If you have any Flamer Barrel, it hard set AP usage to 30. It's hard set to 30. If you have any Flamer Barrel, then only way that can reduce it is less action point cost on the third star. Unfortunately, reflex side, type of a flamer bar, type of a stock, type of a capacitor, nothing affects AP anymore if you want to have a flamer. It does affect for other modifications, not for a flamer. And I have no idea why Bethesda did that. I think it was kind of intentional nerf as it was possible to use it as a pistol with pistol grip with way lower AP than 24. Now you cannot anymore. 24 is the lowest. And for comparison, when you have a weapon that mods do affect AP usage, you will end up like this fixer. When attachment do affect AP usage, I can go down to five. So that's a huge difference. Like five times less AP required per shot. That thanks to aligned stock and barrel, reflex side, those affecting it down. The perforating magazine is increasing AP cost, so I could switch it to something else to have lower, but I won't. I want the perforating effect, so I... I'm not switching magazine to get lower AP cost. And the same fix, I mean the same, different fixer with the same mods, but without legendary less AP cost will end up with 11 AP. So you can see how important AP cost is as a legendary effect for weapons that do offer mods reducing AP cost as it's additive. So. 25% less AP basically cuts down AP cost by 6. Flat. Which is perfect when you cut it down with everything else and then cut it by additional 6 with less AP cost on third star. That's how it works, that you end up with 5, from 11 to 5. Otherwise it doesn't make sense, as you would think, if you cut down 25% AP cost from 11, you will end up with... Eight or nine, but it's not. 
you end up with five. Elder marks is more expensive. I do I have my elder? I have my quad elder. And unfortunately my elder is without less AP cost, so I pay twelve. It could go really lower. But I pay twelve. That's my quad elder. The biggest downside for the elder is range. Only ninety. What else do I have? I have Elliot Disintegrator, that is a big disappointment. The only reason I still keep it is because that's weightless. <laughs> Does it take too much, too much space? It's cool to occasionally use it for the sound. We have like three minutes before we get rewards. So we need to keep, keep sitting here. Look at the radiation damage from the gamma gun they change it so it shows more but i don't think it's actually doing more just showing more syringer soften the boss i still have my stalker's hand right this is perfect to be honest for everyday usage incredible Accuracy in VATS. And probably I still can kill super mutants with two shots. I need to test it. Can I still get a super mutant down with two shots with this handmade? I forgot to test if it's still possible, even though it's stalkers, not bloodied, not anti armor, not instigating. Yeah, the 25% is calculated from the base AP because that's true. That's how it's so good. Hello there, cube. Okay, last minute countdown. And I can go test my handmade. Hello there. This person really wants to get on the camera. Hello. Oh, that's a two shot. Everyone is just firing for fun now. <laughs> and here we go. Well deserved rewards for sitting outside and waiting. Let's see, can I kill super mutants in two shots? If you can pick one, follow through or taking one for the team. That entirely depends on the ability. If you stealth, follow through. If you are tank, taking one for the team. If you always play solo, follow, follow through or nothing. Okay, maybe it's still good. Legendary survived. Outside of range. Survive a little bit better in three shots. Let 
Let's check out level 100 super mutants. Who's firing there? Mutants. What's my luck? 33, okay. Oh, we have some gifted memberships. Thank you a lot, Chesses, for you. Thank you for donating 10 memberships. And who do I welcome? I welcome Galidorn, Drake Loom, Bob Bafam, Vroy, Brick Jasp, Rivacast, Wert, Nolin, Wild West J, and Sphinx7137. Welcome to Tertur's Army and may the shell be with you. Thank you, Lord Chesses, for you. I appreciate that. Yeah, 33 luck is needed. After that, it doesn't really matter how much you have. Why am I not getting crit? What's wrong? Okay, now it works. Maybe it wasn't charging fast enough. I need to start from a crit. Then it works, okay. So it is two shot to kill, so yeah. Stalker is perfect. So I can get a perfect, almost perfect accuracy from behind. And Super Mutant Head from behind is really hard to hit. Normally in VATS you will have low accuracy. They have some kind of protection or I don't know what. The head from behind is not easy to hit. And Stalker's effect work as long as Super Mutants are not engaged in combat. After they start firing, even if not at me, Stalker's will not work anymore. I would prefer if Stalker would be active always when I'm not in danger, but it is not, so there are limitations to Stalker, but outside of that, it seems to be working really well. Reload. Managed to somehow hit at 0%. <laughs> Super Mutants was seeking cover, but I managed to start firing when there was 95. Now Stalker is no longer working and not even my stealth worked. Now it's working. So I was sprinting on this Super Mutant. Okay, that's enough Super Mutants. I don't want to clear the entire West Tech. Just wanted to test this hand, mate. I have some ammo for my enclave plasma. Let's test it on expedition one more time. If there is nothing interesting here happening, nothing. Of course, Atlantic City, because the most sensational game is the easiest. Oh, Rank, you got your union, union power armor. Awesome. Congratulations. That's the best power armor there is. How do we get your health perfect for netrage how i do it is gamma gun combined with brahmin milk gamma gun if i want more rats brahmin milk if i need to reduce rats a little bit and that's how it works best for me stealth works good for me too okay this trap I always get get myself caught on this trap. 
basically hide in the plain sight of enemies. Oh, Balki with a special message. A high agricultural and chat. Thanks for your bloody stealth commander 2024 video. It's a fun build and fairly tanky. Oh, you're welcome. Yeah, it is definitely fun. I am running it all the time now. As, as long as you are on a team, it is tanky enough. Oh, there is a problem with launching a firework due to enemies swarming. That's the downside. If you don't have stealth, you need to kill enemies and they will be staggering you. Okay, I'm going to help. Doesn't look good. Coming for the rescue. Coming for the rescue. Too late, to be honest, but I did went for the rescue. Yeah, Balki is a veteran in Turtles Army. Should be like a commander in the show. Where you can get Brahmin milk? You can milk Brahmins. There is a lot of Brahmins on the map and you can milk every single one of them. But you will need good with salt to keep the Brahmin milk fresh. The honey do not remove rats. Can someone grab the teddy? Please, and I'm running. Let's see if it will work. Yeah, we got a teddy. Now, how good is that for little boss? I'm not sure if it was faster than a railway did. Maybe it was the same or not. No, I'm not, not so sure. I need to do more testing if Railway is better or Enclave Flamer is better. What's good for AP region? Companity. The best. For overall AP region. For Invats AP region, you will unfortunately need something else like coffee. Or birthday cake slices. And here we go. Unfortunately, I don't have a perk to aim. So that can be a struggle. But I will try. I will try my best. Did I hit something or not? Oops. Rap. Rap data. Okay. You guys carry on and I'm going. Put all the emoji down. Why do you run after me? No. <laughs> okay, that didn't work out exactly as planned. <laughs> I should be running by myself. Now there is no one to, no one to finish the tater. Okay, they they will do it. It's already not the fastest. Our fastest is like three minutes, and here we are already approaching five. Now I'm spamming the cakes. And then... Yeah, the Enclave Plasma is crazy powerful. I think the power of the Enclave Plasma comparing to Railway will be in the fact that I don't need to reload. I have almost 10 times more ammo 
in Enclave Plasma than I have in Quad Railway. So that's a huge difference. Let's see if we get any good rewards from that effort. And I'm almost ready to craft my unyielding torn armor set. So I'll be able to create ultimate melee build after I will get it. Anti Armor Ship Squatch Club. Can Ship Squatch Club be. Someone said before that Ship Squatch Club can be modified for bleed and poison damage. I need to try it. Check it on the bench. If you are on the hand for the Milkable Brahmins. Uh, my quick path, when I'm running low on milk and my camp is not generating enough, you can have a Brahmin at your camp, by the way. My quick path is... Wayward, three Brahmins around there. Uh, Flatwoods, three or four Brahmins, I think, roaming this area. And other places... Big Bend Tunnel West, Big Bend Tunnel East. I always know there are Brahmins there and that's where I go. And yes, there's more places with Brahmins, but after visiting those, I am usually good on milk. Okay. Mm, let me get rid of this script. Raider Ryan. Now oh, that's with crit damage and endurance. I will keep it for a moment. Let's keep machete for comparison. Eighty-eight script only left. The power of machete. A sacrificial one, uh, not skin. Oh, I don't have a mod for sacrificial machete, but sacrificial gives poison and bleed. Sheep squatch club. Oh, wait, there is a bleed on most of them. It's not marked like it, but it is. So, barbed. Burning, it's flat fire plus dot. Heavy is flat, a little bit of more damage. Poisoned, oh no, you cannot have both. Okay, someone said you can. You can either have poison, and it's only nine by five seconds. That's very low. Okay, so Sheep Scratch Club cannot compete with Sacrificial Machete, that you cannot combine poison with bleed. The bleed is added to fire, so that's the only option. You can have fire, but fire not a dot, just flat fire and dot bleed. Not a large one, small one. So no, Sheep Squatch Club will not be better than Machete. There's no other mods, just this, this one option. Let's get rid of that. Thirty free script left. So easy to max out on script. Oh, someone just got rid of some legendaries.
heritage script now. How is the damage on paper between a railway and an enclave? Is 200, 200, 200. It's about the same, to be honest. So advantage of railway will be probably the fact that it's way easier to hit 100% armor penetration with railway as it's doing only ballistic. 200 per shot plus crit, so that's going over 1k. And Enclave is combined, so you need twice as much to hit full armor penetration. But I could have Enclave bloodied and Executioner. That's what I'm hunting for. I still don't have it. Uh, from expedition rewards only partially depend on the time you just need to fit in the time limit then there is no improvement there is this timer you have 15 minutes if you do it under 15 minutes you're good you get full rewards if you do all the objectives of course if you don't you are losing on like five stumps What? I'm still missing on one mod for the club? Oh, I didn't even notice that. I'm reading now the chat. And in daily ops you need to do under 8 minutes to get full rewards. Okay, and the events here. Nope. I will click, click quickly join safe and s sound. As it looks like it's almost over. So which mod am I missing, Rascal? Do you know? Am I missing actually the best mod or something like that? Oh, well, look at this timing. Just for the rewards and Kabloom. Kabloom delivery. And Kabloom has a good dot. Kabloom is 50 base, so with the boost 92, if that would be a shotgunner build, it can be pushed to like 150 poison for 10 seconds. Not awesome, but there is some kind of visible amount, at least. It should be more, in my opinion. Everything that's a dot, due to the fact that armor is calculated per tick, should be at least 10 times higher. So that should be like 920. Then you will feel it. And that's how it's supposed to be. Surprisingly, in daily op... Uh, not daily ops. In expeditions... In expeditions, dot... It's way more efficient than anywhere else, for some reason. Should I hop a server? Monster Mash? I don't want to do Monster Mash. That's not a PvP build. You cannot rely on VATs in PvP. Even though the VATs will absolutely kill anyone in PvP. No one who's a PvPer will let you VATs them. They will be using Stealth Boy. I will hop the server. Unless I check what Raider Ryan is calling for first, just in case. Is Ironclad and Life Giver together necessary? No, it is not. But if you need to choose one, Life Giver is better. You can run it both, depending on the resistance you are starting from, you will feel improvement. But life giver will give you better improvement. Okay, there is nothing here. And 
someone said join atomic shop to get guaranteed new server i don't know if that's a thing you have nothing in atomic shop as i own everything not everything but a lot i honestly spent too much money on the atom shop probably but i can justify it as i'm streaming I'm making a full-time job out of gaming, so I don't feel so bad about my atom shop spending. Oh, so I think I'm missing Electrify for Ship Squatch Club. Thanks, hi, son of Nord. And I like exploration team. If you don't need experience anymore, exploration team gives you lower AP cost for sprinting and more health. So we are tankier. One shot will fix my rats. What this server has to offer. No events. But one nuke. Two nukes. Is there any nuke available for me to drop? There is alpha is available. And no one is doing that, so. Why am I over encumbered? Did my carry weight booster expired? Yes. Never enough carry weight boosters. Alpha. Yes, using ironclad and life giver will make you more tanky. But don't forget, you need fireproof as well. Like, fireproof and life giver is your base, and then you are adding whatever you can. Just increasing endurance alone will make you more tanky. To be honest, increasing endurance by four points requ required to use ironclad makes you more tanky than ironclad itself. That's a fun fact. So just the fact that you increase endurance makes you more tanky. I have teammates. Oh, there is no turrets. That's fine. Someone was here before. Or maybe someone is here now. Who knows? Where is the card? Card! No. Don't roast me. Don't roast me, robots. I know I could shoot them, but I don't need to. Swipe. Fabricate. Excuse me, robots. Passing through. Oh, there will be high radiation area. So for that purposes, give me rat shield and pop one grape. That will fix all the problems with the rat zone. You can probably see how slowly my AP is draining. That's the result of very high endurance. Okay, the grape and rat shield was probably a little bit too much.
Excuse me. That was a combat inhibitor. I like shooting robots in combat inhibitors. The official style shortcut. Bloody explosive combat rifle, it's probably worth it. But for most people, it is script. As unfortunately, if you compare it to bloody explosive fixer, fixer is better. So, yeah, combat rifles, not really top of the crop. There is probably no turrets. Yeah, there is no turrets. Someone took down all the turrets already. Most likely whoever was dropping nuke on this server before. Because you can drop nuke every three hours. And if you kill turrets, they will remain killed for three hours. And after that still. The one robot that do not have a combat inhibitor is sentry bot. Big bad sentry bot is not equipped with combat inhibitor. Every other robot is. We need more power railway. Power. Oh, and fix my rats. Yeah, the rat shield definitely works. But I need to shoot more. Oh, what are you doing here? So you can tell I'm tanky enough. And I do not rock ironclad. I have life give a fireproof radical revenant. Ten endurance plus endurance bonuses. So my total endurance is 20. That's awesome. 20 endurance make you so tanky. As total health matters. Like this value here matters. Regardless if you are bloody or full health. It does matter what's your total health. Equally, to be honest, with full health and bloody builds. It matters equally. How dare you? What is my lunch chief that... Look at my lunch chief. That was rude. Still alive, so it counts. He's firing. Where? I hear it, I don't see anyone. Oh, there! Got it! It was what a single eye, but. No! Matt! No! No, 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 no! 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 Oh! Almost. I barely saved it. Oh, we have a healer on a team. Good. Keep healing those lovely folks that got unfortunately hit. I'm sniping you, robot. Surrender or die. The head on the robot is very tough. Even though it shows yellow numbers, unfortunately, like I don't know what has happened when Bethesda was designing the yellow number system. When you see yellow numbers, when you are firing at something and not white ones, like normally you have white ones, 
when you see yellow, it basically indicates that you are hitting the head and that's it. Unfortunately, in the Fallout universe, not, not for all enemies, head is a weak spot. So for a lot of enemies, like robots, head is a tough spot. So you are, you are seeing yellow numbers. You think it's good, but it's actually bad. Because you are hitting a tough spot. When you are hitting humanoid enemies like Scorch, the head is a weak spot, so that's good. You see yellow numbers, that's good. Uh, then you have other enemies like a Deathclaw, that the head is not a weak spot, it's not particularly tough spot, as Deathclaw tough spot is a tail, but it's not a weak spot. As for Deathclaw, the weak spot is a belly. So I do not understand the yellow number system. I would prefer if yellow numbers will be popping up when I'm hitting a weak spot and not indicate wherever I'm hitting or not hitting the head is it's like so pointless information. Okay, I'm hitting the head, but that says nothing. It's not always good to hit the head. Like combat inhibitor for robots is a weak spot uh, for Gatsis, not for all robots, for Gatsis. And I have white numbers, but I'm hitting the weak spot. Do I need the numbers or did I already use it this week? I didn't. Okay. Let me check the trustworthy Nuka Crypt for codes of the week. And we are looking for alpha. Six, eight, five, six, two, three, oh, seven. It is correct. This time we are launching a green zone. <laughs> this is a joke. No, we are not launching there. Maybe Earl? Mr. Earl? Wait. Someone was nuking above? Should we be below? Oh, there's camp. You are in my standard nuke zone, Mr. Wife Wolf's camp. That's my standard nuke zone area. But it was already nukes on above. Okay, I would stick to whatever someone was doing before. I will nuke above. But though it feels weird for me, I will always nuke below. I know there is no particular rule for that, but normally I always nuke here. That's the nuke zone I go for. But now I'm nuking above. I will not be. I will not be the bad guy. I will not <laughs> target wolf scum. It's tempting, but no, I will nuke above. I just need to hit Monenga mine. Why am I over encumbered now? I'm not very over encumbered. Selenius scrap kit. I need to burn some of those scrap kits. I just have too many. What are the challenges left for today? Craft alcoholic beverage, ferment alcoholic beverage. So I will need to do that. I don't want to do that. Consume alcoholic beverages. With this ceramic. Okay, that's all easy. I will complete them tomorrow or Monday. The nuke is out. Oh, that's a new server, so I can check vendors for Enclave mods. Super Mutant's head is a weak spot. Why am I saying it is not? It is. Yeah, absolutely. For the scrap item, you can make a bulk and then scrap. I just don't do anything for most part for the scrap items. They complete themselves when I play. 
Nope, but oh, I need one sacrificial mod for the machete. As I notice, I don't have any. Sacrificial blade for machete. This is a really good one. It doesn't say it, but it adds bleed damage and poison damage. Heavy gun. Yeah, I will be updating most likely heavy gunner, the meta build, and melee the meta build. All three of them. And probably three lazy builds after that, or some kind of beginner builds. I need to update before the TV show will drop, as people will need it. There will be a lot of more players, at least that's what I hope for. I want our amazing followed community to grow. I want it to grow. I don't think they remove the random air from the forest. Can still spawn when you nuke score with queen. The chance is just low, it's like 10%. So it will be relatively rare. It's like one per 10 nukes. Enclave through short barrel. I told you, sometimes there are enclave mods. I don't know for what reason I would need through short barrel, but I'm buying them. Don't need arrows. And here we go, colossal event. I don't think you need quad on the minigun. That is already enough ammo. Should I use railway or the flamer? Maybe flamer. Enclave flamer? Oh, so I don't forget syringer first. We'll soften this boss and annihilate it correctly. Syringer first. How is my food going? Company tea, light soup. Okay, so we have the food. I didn't apply other food. So, sweet water blend, potato juice. I can use twist. Match fruit juices. Oh, I don't have a boost order, so... Which alcohol do I want? Ballistic book or high voltage hefe? Oh, high voltage hefe, I want to use enclave here. High voltage hefe. But not first, wait. Liquid courage first. Liquid courage. High voltage hefe. Overdrive. I'm low on overdrives. Okay, and what else we can do? Lunch boxes. Need to use some. Lunch boxes have weight. So it's better to have less. I always struggle with having too much stuff. Do we have any scout banners for auto revive? Scouts banner. Now how do I auto revive myself? Mm. Will a grenade be enough? Oh, 53 overdrives? Thank you! I'm no longer low on overdrives, I take it back. Oh. A yeah, survival triggered. Okay, it will hit me more if I equip anti armor weapon. Uh, 
Not enough. Triple mine, or maybe that. What? Why no damage? Hey! Why nothing does damage? That's such a useless stuff. One shot from the kabloom. What? Oh, my healing is too hard. Uh, never mind. The revive. Oh, I have another idea. Jump. The death jump after dropping health. Maybe that will work. Death jump from low health. Then syringer. Then irradiate myself. Then enclave. Syringer, irradiation, enclave. Uh, okay. Bath. Courage. High voltage here. Overdrive. Jump. Is that enough? Okay, perfect. Two shots. Okay, applied. Run. Closer. Head. Melt. Melt, Mr. Earl. Melt. Oh, I forgot one thing. Uh, slices of cake. Now melt. Oops. I'm in need of help. I wasn't paying attention to my help. Anyone? Can anyone help me? I was too happy to melt, Mr. Earl. Wasn't paying enough attention to my health, and Mr. Air is dead. Uh, it's gone, who knows where. But I can loot it, thanks to area looting. Area looting for the win. Oh, I have no fire resistance, that's probably what killed me. I have no fire resistance, I have no poison resistance, so that's, that's a huge downside. Quad railways. I need distance. I need distance from those creatures. What is my AP? Okay, my AP is regenerating. We won. So nevertheless, the fight was very short. Even with my little mess up. As I died, but I managed to do a bunch of damage before my death. My sudden death. Unexpected, I could say. Now I'll be getting into the nuke zone. So what do I use to survive that? I think... Nuka Grape will do just fine. Maybe some orange on top. For extra rat resist. Yeah. Extra orange. Yeah, air went to the air afterlife. <laughs> Behind the wall. Uh, if your ultra psychiatric laser is breaking to offer, you can do something. You can try charging barrels, or you can equip gunsmith. Max out. Yes, syringers are very good. If you have four people that fire a syringer at enemy, enemy will have zero damage resistance. For two minutes, so that's more than enough to kill it. Did they fix Gamma Gun to use Gorilla? Oh, I don't know this one. I didn't have. Second front of Gunsmith will help a little. 
I would not say it would make a huge difference, but it would help a little. I need to store those mods or I scrap them accidentally. I earn too much ammo. Uh oh. No! Happened. I think I'm in the new zone. Oh yeah, because I moved to the wrong way. Retrieve your droplet. My loot. It's we nuke from above, so I should... Put the town other way. Scrap box. Stash box. Now get out. I pop some Brahmin milk this time. I should be fine. Wait. I'm out. How much Brahmin milk do I have left? 15. I need to visit my camp. Gather some extra Brahmin milk. A lack of the draw is only worth it if you have Gunsmith as well. You could try lack of the draw with two ranks of Gunsmith. For the best effect, you needed both max out, but... Okay. Mutant hounds turned against this super mutant. <laughs> they were scorched. Uh, why there are meat packs here? What's going on? What happened to my camp? Uh, where is cooking station? I think my camp is changing without my control. I want this bonus. Oh, that was you, rascal! Yeah, I forgot I last time. I accidentally had private team, so everyone could edit my camp. Well, that was you. You forgot about it. You are playing with my camp. Slices. Where's my Brahmin? There, give me extra milk. Doesn't want to, so I have 36 milk now. I should be good. Guided meditation. Yeah, I'll be going there. First, we need to craft some alcohols. For that, I need a lot of razor grain and some corn. I need some potato. Harvesting completed. Liquid courage. And ballistic box. I need to craft one more alcohol. Oh, white ration. Reduces limb damage. Wait, never mind. I craft one. Oh, does it count for the challenge? Why did I craft it then? I have done the math. And to oh, ferment, now, not craft. Does count for crafting, not fermenting. So I need more fermentable alcohols. This white Russian do not need to be fermented. I have done the math, and to 
save time, cakes will now be baked at 3500 degrees Fahrenheit. Reduce limb damage. And that's it? It doesn't do anything else? Does it stack? Oh no, addicted to alcohol. For only two minutes? How useless is that, Bethesda? Sometimes they should really think through what they are adding to the game. I forgot how bad it was. Don't mind the rust on my apparatus. Think of it as a free source of iron. Hello there, Brahmin. Stop walking over my chicken coop, please. Uh, new Coca cola collector is bagged. It always collects new Coca colas regardless what you set it for. So if you set it for something else, it collects new Coca colas and the, the something else part. Yes, uh, I noticed that Enclave stock don't lower the AP cost. Neither the reflex side and anything else. The flamer is now fixed 30 AP cost. So it doesn't matter anymore what kind of mods you have on your flamer. You just need the flamer. What kind of enemies? Oh, invisible? No. Oh. I don't like invisible. Uh, really flamer for that. So that is quite useless when enemies are invisible. But those are ghouls, so maybe I will complete my scrap stuff to get ceramics daily. In daily, weekly, I think that's weekly. Legendary, but one stars. Doesn't really matter. The advantage of Airclay Flamer is that it's awesome even, even if you cannot use VADs. The distance is that high with the flame, but it's awesome. Vampire is probably better to this use case. I really like Vampire Enclave Flamer. I don't know what I did with mine. I was not able to find it recently. Unless it's still in my stash box. Oh, I was looking on the mules. I didn't check my own stash box. Uh, is there a stash box on this event? So I could check. Is there a stash box? There is a stash box. Do I have my Vampire Flamer by any chance? Forcer. Oh, I have it! There it is! I knew I had it! <laughs> so that's what you need with Weapon of Speed. That's, that's the one! And you can see AP cost 30. It's just fixed at it now. Oh, I have bloodied. Uh, 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 oh, okay, but with damage while aiming. I don't have bloodied for rats. Yeah, I forgot. That's not perfect. That's the one that's not perfect. I have it because I don't have any better bloodied yet. I need executioners at bloodied for rats. That's the machete. Bleed and poison. That's why it's good. Okay. We need to rename it. So I don't do anything bad to it. Oh, I didn't paint it either yet. Vampire. And... And what am I doing? 
I cannot spell today. <laughs> Enclave plasma. Couldn't spell Enclave for some reason. That's my beautiful baby. It's not only annihilating enemies, but keep you alive forever. This weapon alone changes you into super tank. I need to take it on expedition uh, to see if vampire is enough. If I would neglect VATs for most part and only use VATs for maximum damage on bosses. Aiming is the best part about it. There is no aiming required, basically. That's why aiming is the best. No aiming. No aiming required is the best aiming. Only better aiming is Tesla. Oh, what's the Tesla AP cost? It's about the same now as Enclave Plasma. I don't have room for this enclave. Maybe I will kick out this fixer for now. I want this vampire enclave here. Look at this beauty. A damage resistance while reloading for the weapon that you plan to use mostly outside of VATS is not bad. Break slower would be superior, but you cannot always have what you want. This was legendary somewhere. Legendary over encumbered me. Scrap kids. I'm just stopping everyone who's trying to run through this path. With the green wall flame. The green flame wall. Oh, I just noticed. If I fire towards... Did you notice that? When I fire towards those pillars, the pillars are being painted green. But not the space in between. Oh, that's hilarious. I don't know what that is even happening. Do you see that? I don't know. Look where my crosshair is. Look when I'm firing. The pillars are getting green. But the space in... What? Interacts with the clouds too? Oh, I wasted all ammo. I didn't notice the flame has such a... Weird interactions. Look at look at the cloud interaction. Makes cloud purple. <laughs> what? How I didn't ever notice that before? Or maybe that maybe because I was never shooting cloud <laughs> with the flavor, but that's cool. Oh that's not real cloud, that's that's a cloud from the nuke zone. Maybe those are different than regular clouds. Yeah, regular clouds don't do that. That's the cloud from the nuke zone. And not even everywhere. Like this structure. Here it's... Oh, here it's invisible. Paints that purple. Need more ammo. Someone else killed those ghouls. I just need more ammo. What? That wasn't my teammate. I didn't get any ammo. Oh, the event completed. Give me ammo back. Oh, 
There's more ghouls. Possible ammo. Please give me more ammo than I'm using. Yeah, I need my tent. A little bit too low on ammo. Ammo box. That's ultra side plasma cartridge required for that. I have a good supply. But not in any danger. Oh, those are so heavy that I'm instantly over encumbered. Carry away the booster. Okay. Let's see what's on the map. Nothing interesting, so we do one more expedition. Yeah, the Enclave Garden is really amazing. Well, that's for sure. Now we are taking it for the most sensational game. And Enclave Garden combined with like 20 coffees or birthday cakes continues firing rats. I don't know about those colors though, it still intrigues me a little bit. How did they... How is the game rendering the flame? <laughs> it's being affected by stuff far away. And how is it possible I never noticed that before? Shooting clouds must really not be very common. What? Oh, this guy? Moonflowers. We are eliminating moonflowers. So I can ignore the remaining stuff. Just the moonflowers. One moonflower eliminated. Eat cake. There's the moonflower. That's how fast moonflower goes. And the last one. That was fast phase one. <laughs> In 40 seconds. I will run it with vampire. The anti-armor probably do not really give me much of a benefit. Vampire with criticals? Oh, my blight soup expired. That still should be good enough. Yeah, it's good enough. Someone, please get the teddy. Get the teddy. Uh oh. I think whoever was getting the teddy is unconscious now. I should be getting the teddy. Oh, we have the teddy. Good. A little bit of a delay here. Outside of that, I think we are doing good. Shark's Den. So that would not be the fastest. As to do the fastest run, Tato Toss is required, but it will be fast. Shark's Den is fast. So we don't have any escortee today out of three expeditions, not a single escortee, which is awesome. Escortee is the worst thing that can happen in this expedition. 
Everything else is fine. Not the SQLT though. SQLT is not fine. them all. Okay, I got this side. Hello there, competitors. We have all the emoji done. We have emoji done. No one in here. They like to sometimes spawn here. We don't want to let them. Vampire weapon changes me into a super tank. My total health should probably pop one more Brahmin milk. I should be around 70 health. One more Brahmin milk it is. Yeah, that should be good. It's time to run. Start popping the birthday cakes. I think that's enough. Hopefully that's enough. Yeah, vampire is good enough. I don't need anti-armor for that. Look how fast. Under four minutes is a really good time. It's not enough to beat my own record, but it's really hard to beat it at this point. So I'm not really trying very hard. It's really hard. Attempting to go under three minutes. I don't know if I have a chance. How the subtitles showing before he starts talking? I don't even know how the subtitles works here. I have the voice of NPCs disabled. <laughs> I don't want to hear them all the time. It's too annoying, so I have that disabled. They never talk. And I have mainly one star. Okay, cool. So we did this turret expedition. How many stamps do I have? Am I getting close to what I need for the next update? Stamps, oh, 690. Not close yet, but it's growing. I drained them to zero when I purchased all the plants from recent updates, so now it's slowly growing. The percoys are still here. The artifact of nuclear winter. I still have perk coins <laughs> for to buy perks in nuclear winter, but there is no nuclear winter anymore. Perk coins still exist, though. That's a fun stuff. And overseer tickets. I have those too. One hundred forty-five. That's nuclear winter as well. Curious if they will ever remove that, or I will just have it forever. Eight script. If I would have one star regular armor and one star weapon. Oh, that's the railway that I got. It's not good, unfortunately. It's weightless at least. But it's not good. Stack weight. Too much ammo. 
Too much ammo. I should store alien blaster. I'm not gonna use it. Just too weak. One day it will probably get script. So I don't know what I should do. It's aristocrats. It's not perfect. Plus, alien disintegrator doesn't want to do enough. It's too weak. It's too weak, unfortunately. I need to craft more blight soup. Let's get a trip to the ash area. Railway. Where's the bat? Come here. How many scorches in here? Now I get them all. Yep. Get all the scourge disabled. Give me plants. Oh, cannot harvest those. I was here before, so let's run this way now. I didn't run this way last time. I know I don't have green temp, but there is enough plants for me without green temp to get all my blight soup cooking done. Unless I should be buying maybe more juices from vendors. I think the juices last for an hour. Great damage juice, there's like two or three of those to choose from. Okay, that's probably more than enough. Let's cook this stuff on my Enclave Grill Station. Oh, I have no water. I can do potato salad though. I have no water. Okay. So I do need to cook in my camp after all. So I will check camp vendors. Okay, she's far away. Oh. Some a mutant hound who wandered back. Okay, ally. So for the food, we have Yasmin. Okay, she's coming from the hole. Let's talk about your inventory. That's for disease resist. A lot of carnivore. They prefer to sell carnivore stuff. That's what I noticed from my experience. I somehow prefer carnivore stuff. Uh, then for the food, the grammar. Grammar. A 
emerge from the hall, please. Well, give me the free bubble head extension too. But first, lower T for intelligence now. Uh, cranberry meatball grinder, that's rare. I will take that to my freezer. I think again. Give me the bubble head bath, please. Yeah, give me the bubble head bath. Uh, now we remove you. Perfect. Okay, this goes. Water. It's my water collection point. Benefits of wasteland baking. Yeah, I have all my allies stored in the basement. That's where they're supposed to be. Of course I know how to make baby fingers. The ingredient is in the name. Okay, much for juices, please. And light sip. Okay, that's it. I supposed to craft some alcohol, one more to be fermented. There was a quest to ferment Benefits free alcohols. I didn't yet. Oh, milk. Only one milk. Someone drank my milk. Yeah, I made even more than needed. Oh, liquid courage is fermenting slowly. Okay, that's done. And to the freezer. Have you tried filling the void with meatball grinder. Oh, I managed to secure quite a bit of meatball grinders. Quite a bunch of brain bombs. Some relish, Wellingtons, Steep Thistle Tea, that's the tea that gives you critical Arrow. damage. Glaze not found. Replacing with a similar word, gauze. I wish I had chased bugs. Okay, so that's my freezer. Scorchby seems to be harmless. Just flying around and not hostile at all. Shows white to star legendary Scorch Beast. Still no events in this area. Oh, irrational fear again. Is that the irrational fear has any chance for enclave mods? I'm not sure I would try. Yes, every camp will get attacked. Even if you put it in space, there will be still a rad road spawning in your camp attacking you. Talk to Beckham. Why is... What? Why is everyone... Oh, they activated encrypted. When I went... Okay, encrypted. When I went to talk to Beckham. Can Beckham complete the event without my help? Probably not. But let's try nevertheless. Why well, I'm not on the event? What's going on? Be on the event, please. Now, quest started encrypted. 
Even though I cannot damage an encrypted for this phase yet, I can heal myself with vampire weapon by firing an encrypted. So that works. Are you taking this one? Oh, Cryptic is still capable of killing something. Who's taking other pylons? You got it. Good job. We got it. That was quick. It's good. Is that enough? Ah. Lost. <laughs> Irration irrational fear has been lost. It happens. Taking damage? From what? Why am I taking damage? Oh no, the pylon bag. No. Minus 10 hit points per second. 125 damage taken multiplier. Conduit. now oh there is a tent <laughs> try to kill me where is the oh there is a box Okay, let's try a different strategy. Will that work? <laughs> That's why you never take pilots anymore. It's very rare to happen to me. Oh, I still hear the sound. No. They didn't work. Cannot fix it. No, I already did all the challenges for today. That will happen later. They want to have hope for another server. Probably not necessary. Okay. I'm good for today, I think. I'm good for today. The pylon is saying that's enough. <laughs> the pylon the pylon decides to, to cut it a little bit shorter. Normally I will probably play for another half an hour, but Pylon made a decision for me. <laughs> so that's it for now. There is a reason I always use Western murals at my camps. They healed with decent amount of hit points and cost one wood to repair. So I use them as defense. Oh, low budget as well. Not too much budget needed to put one. And the size of single mural is like nine regular walls. The best role for Enclave Flamer? Good question. I think it will be bloodied faster fire rate or bloodied crit damage. Alternatively, I still need to test it. I will be testing versus anti-armor, bloodied and executioners. It is possible that the best flamer would be two flamers with a swap to executioners at the end of the fight. And I want to test that. 
and for everyday use case, definitely vampire faster fire rate breaks slower. I agree. Yeah, I did experience pylon bug. Breaks, break slower is definitely not the most important, but it is helpful for Enclave Flamer. Yeah, I took the pylon too soon. I know I should wait a little bit and this bug usually not happen. Yeah, if you wait when the objective appears to take the pylons, then it's usually good. Oh, and thank you a lot for all the likes, everyone. I appreciate that. Thank you. And I did test Starfield already for everyone that wants to know. It's tested on the live stream on Twitch. The live stream is short, so you know it's not good, like for the bug fixes. And that being said, it's everything for today. I hope you had a good time. And I wish you all amazing rest of your weekend and see you all soon in more videos, more testing, more weapons, more builds to come. And whatever else you think is needed, just drop me a comment. I always take it in consideration. I'm not able to always provide answer in the form of a video for every question, but yeah, I always take them into consideration. And yeah, that's it. See you everyone. Bye. Have a good one. Tell it aloud.